Hello everybody and welcome back to European War 4. Now as you can see the Ottomans are still extremely confused. They have no idea what's going on so we're probably going to be able to take them out this turn. Or well, not this turn, uh, this episode perhaps. Depends on if the Russians decide to go for uh, this, I mean, this part of Turkey over here that belongs to the Ottoman Empire. And it looks like, uh, Shy, don't take my word on this, but I think that that country is called Wallachia. Wallachia? I'm pretty sure that's what they're called. But once again, don't take my word on it, because uh, I'm not quite sure. But it looks like they're going to help me out a tad bit, because they have some ships. I'm not quite sure what I plan to accomplish this episode, except possibly destroy the Ottomans. Hold up. There we are. The sound in this game always gets me. The music is always low enough for my videos, but it's just the, like the sound and stuff that gets it. Here. What is this general? I'm pretty sure this... Bonaparte. Alright, so that's another Bonaparte. That's strange. I know it's not Napoleon. Uh, if any of you guys know who that is, then uh, please fill me in in the comment section. Because apparently another Bonaparte is in this battle. Let's see here. And that Bonaparte is part of uh, Naples? Naples? However you want to say it. I call it Naples. Yeah, it looks like they're part of Naples, which is quite strange. Alright, we need to get uh, rid of these forts and this mortar down here if we ever want to take out the Ottomans. Gotta take care of the small stuff first. And I believe that the Russians are going to be able to take out um, the territory that they own in Turkey. I mean, hopefully they should be able to take it out. And that's going to end this turn. Oh, yeah, I forgot to show you guys. All right, I'll show you uh, once it's my turn again. Come on. There we are. Now, if you take a look over here, Great Britain seems to have given up on trying to take out France, and they're just going straight for the Netherlands. They have a very, very large invasion. It looks like they're trying to head for uh, this stable right here, mostly. And the one thing that they have standing in their way is another Bonaparte. Okay. Another Bonaparte who is part of the Netherlands. But uh, I don't think that the Netherlands are going to be able to uh, resist that. I just think they're done for. As you can see, these forts, oh, yeah, I just think that everything that belongs to the Ottoman Empire right now is, it's just done. Yeah, look at this. The Russians just slaughtered that round. <coughs> oh, sorry, I'm still sick. Do, do, do. Come on. Let's at least take out this general this turn. Come on. He doesn't do a lot of damage, but he has a lot of health. I'll give him that. I mean, I wouldn't buy the general or anything because, of course, he doesn't do that much damage. But he does have a lot of health, as I said before. I'll give him that. It's like the Russians sending some cavalry over. Uh, it's not going to do much, but I appreciate the help. And it looks like we are finally starting to get rid of this massive grouping of forces down here. So we have successfully helped out the Austrians, which, if... You guys don't remember what was my main point of coming over this way to the northwest. 
I was just gonna help out the Austrians and then just kind of uh, mind my own business for a while, but yeah, I've uh, started going the offensive over here, which I don't know, I kind of like. I like uh, making progress like this. Uh, move into Rhine, Switzerland, and Italy. It looks like we're going to be doing. Why'd I say that like that? <laughs> Boop. What up, getting a drink? Um, <clears throat> there we are. Oh, um, tomorrow, I'm thinking about, um, well, actually, let me explain. So, I, um, got a question on my last Q&A asking what the scariest experience of my life was, and, of course, I answered the question, you know, I told a scary experience of my life, but this morning, I don't know why I remembered it this morning, but I did. Um, I remembered a certain experience that I had, which I should have mentioned in that Q&A, because I really do think that was the scariest moment of my life. So tomorrow, um, for the video, I plan on telling that story to you guys. So, yeah, look forward to that. Those of you that watched my uh, Conquest, you get a little bit of uh, extra info and stuff. So there you are. Yeah, it, it's a really good story. Well, I won't say story because it actually happened, but you know what I mean. I think that you guys will find it really interesting. But, if we take a look at the conquest right now, looks like we have another general coming up, a cavalry general. I don't know if I already brought him up earlier. So this is Murat. Or I'll assume that's how you pronounce his name. Uh, he appears to be a pretty good general. He's on, a uh, what, Royal? Yeah, wait, no. Guards Cavalry, not Royal. So, yeah, he might be a pretty challenging to take out because Guards Cavalry is extremely good in this game. And if we take another look over here at the Russian Offensive, plus Wallachia, I think they're Wallachia. Once again, don't take my word. And Austria. I uh, wonder what they're doing right now. Because they're in the same place that they were last turn, weren't they? Oh, right here we get a good view of uh, what they're doing. Okay. Let's see uh, what they do this turn. Yeah, Russia is not moving that cavalry down there at all. Um... Well, I am very disappointed about that. Look, this cavalry right here, it's not doing anything, and they're not using it. That is very disappointing. Come on. Yeah, this made my job, a, like, a lot easier. Seeing how these Ottoman... Uh, Ottoman units, sorry, can't talk today. Um, they have absolutely no morale. Their morale is so low that they won't even fight. Even though if that fort had morale, then they probably would have uh, beat my guards. Hmm. It's pretty disappointing. I wanted uh, more of a fight from the Ottomans. But, oh well. Damn it. Oh. Yeah, that is a very good general, isn't he? Yup. He does like double the amount of damage that I do to him. Yeah, let's get uh, my cannons up there, see if they can't take him out. I should probably move uh, my bronze cannon right here into the sea so that he can move faster. That would be a good idea. Probably not going to do it, though. Dang. You just see, like, this wall right here. Look at this. You just see, like, a wall of red and blue units. Just, dang. Just trying to push through each other with brute force. That looks so cool. <coughs> I really like how things uh, look in this game. 
Uh, it just has a different feel to it than World Conqueror 3, and especially has a different feel to it than European War 5. Considering that your units really aren't in a field or anything in European War 5, uh, you just do like siege battles and stuff. But yeah, I really like how this game set up their battles. It feels a lot better than uh, the other games that they made. Yeah, I don't really like the combat in European War 5. I mean, it's still a good game, don't get me wrong. But, I really would have liked to see something different than just like repetitive siege battles all the time. But, hopefully, they'll make a new World Conqueror. I'm, I'm hoping, I have my fingers crossed, hopefully they come out with it next year. Or e even if they do come out with another World Conqueror. Well, hopefully they do come out with another World Conqueror next year, because I would really like to see them uh, do something different with it. Like seeing a World War One World Conqueror would be awesome. I think uh, with the theme of World War One games recently, they should do that. Man, this cavalry is still tearing me up. My cannons aren't doing a bunch of damage against it, but it's it's better than nothing. Let's see if uh yeah, let's lower its morale. Man, I just uh, keep on sending up wave after wave of guards. That's uh not really a good idea. Ah. Uh. I'm really going to use money on this. Alright, I'm really going to spend a lot of money to invade the... Alright, let me word that differently. I'm going to spend a lot of money on an invasion of the Ottoman occupation in Turkey. <coughs> yeah, I know. Like I said, this is going to uh, cost me a lot, but... If Russia's not going to do it, then... Oh, I'm going to. Yeah, as you can see there, we just spent a lot of money. Getting, uh... These ships ready for sea. I'd really like the Austrians to uh, help me out a bit more. Because... As you can see, this is right next to where, well, Austria is, and they're really not helping me out at all. Like, they have one general sent up, and then the rest of their units are back here. It looks like they're just waiting for my units to get killed, and then they're gonna move in. Like, th that's really what it feels like. Make some, uh, more quality units. <coughs> Ugh. Sorry, I keep on coughing. Jeez, I wasn't doing this earlier today. Probably because I wasn't talking earlier today. Alright. This general is starting to get low on health. He's almost at half health. Ah, uh, yeah, I shouldn't have moved those grenadiers. That was a bad, uh... That was a very bad move. There we are. So, I'm going to start uh, spending a lot more of my money now. Because, in order to push through this resistance, I'm actually going to need some quality units. Like, I can't just push through with militia anymore. Looks like the French are gathering up a lot of units to take on Great Britain. And knowing Great Britain, they will lose to the French. Because in this game, Great Britain always loses to the French. I mean, seriously, look at every single conquest. The British always get beaten back by France whenever uh, Britain tries to invade. I don't know why, it just seems like the French in this game are a lot more uh, powerful than, well, they actually were. 
Oh my god. My unit... Oh, crap. I should have taken that Italian city right there, shouldn't I? Well, not city. Stable. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I am... Uh, really losing to this general right here considering that I only have oh I just took this Italian city I need to get more units over to this uh, southern part this general is really tearing up my units I didn't expect him to uh, be well be such a good general There we are. So they are really starting to break through to the south. And I can't make any units in Vienna because I don't have the money to. <coughs> Christ. Alright guys, I'm back. Um, I just went downstairs to get myself some medicine so that I stopped coughing so much in this video. So I should be good now. Yeah, I can already uh, hear myself. My voice is a lot clearer than before. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think of what I'm going to do over here. I want to get dressed. Oh. Dresden is not very well defended. I think that I can take it. I just need to uh, send up some more units. Man, I really want to... Oh, dang it. <clears throat> My only problem is, is that I can't get behind these units. Like, there's literally no place where I can get behind these uh, enemy units, mostly belonging to the Rhine. Like, they have completely blocked off all paths. And this freaking general has gotten past... To the yeah he's gone through to the back lines but hopefully with the help of the Austrians I should be able to take him out we've got him in like a bit of a trap here he's kind of a sandwich isn't he so we should be able to take him out hopefully we should and uh, let's actually take a look at the rest of the battle because I haven't been looking too much at that so oh my god look at this that is a very uh we were looking uh, formation, especially for AI. But the French have built... Oh, look at this. This looks so cool. They have built a solid line blocking off Spain. Yeah, it stretches all across Spain. That is so weird. But it's cool. Oh, and it looks like they are being attacked from uh, Northern Africa. I forgot what this... Uh, what this country is called. I remember I did um my first conquest ever in European war. I remember uh, my first well conquest that I recorded for YouTube was with this country right here. I don't remember their name, but uh, they're a pretty good country when you use them in a uh, certain conquest. But anyway, <clears throat> yeah, Portugal and Spain having a very very hard time. I think that Portugal can pull this off if they just put in uh, more effort. Took over here. Yeah, a country that uh, doesn't really get recognized down here. Uh, Morocco? I'm pretty sure that they're Morocco at this time. Huh. That looks cool. Well, their flag does. It, it's unique. It's just like a red flag. That's it. It looks cool to me. And it looks like over here to the north of my very, very broken down line. We have the Prussians, and it looks like they're actually sending down units to help me out. These are my reinforcements, hopefully, if they don't just move to the west. <clears throat> so yeah, the Prussians have a lot of units that they are sending down. Thank you, Prussia. I really need them. Yeah, back to this battle. Uh, hopefully we should be able to take out that uh, guard's cavalry. Uh, next turn or the turn after that. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh, and it looks like Great Britain has actually uh, captured a city in France. I didn't notice that before. Yeah, they actually have a city over here. They need to use that city. Because if they don't, then they're screwed. And it looks like just as soon as this is about to invade the Ottoman Empire, the Russians finally got their act together. Actually, that's mostly Wallachia. But yeah, they got their act together, and they're actually uh, starting to do something. But, oh crap, I should have taken the Ottoman city. That was a bad move by me. Oh well. I have many more cities. <clears throat> and, um... Oh, okay, um, we need to do something about that. This, uh, Guards Cavalry is moving up to Vienna. Oh my god, come on, Austria. Seriously. You have a machine gun right there. That machine gun can take out this general easily. You know what? I'm just, I'm gonna make my own machine gun, screw it. And it appears that we are starting to break through this line, but I don't know if we're going to be able to uh, hold up this offensive much longer. <clears throat> As the Rhine has fresh units coming in. My only problem is, I don't think that's necessarily my money, it's just I don't have a lot of places to make these units and send them over to the line. I really don't, I only have like two cities. See, getting very close to taking out Dresden. Alright, I need to send units from uh, Zagreb. Make some wide infantry. Get over there faster. <clears throat> da, da, da. Alright, uh... That line over there is starting to uh, break down, as you can see, um, on the Rhine side. Alright. Alright, I was going to mention this uh, four right here, but it appears that Wallachia is going to uh, take it out themselves. So I'm going to make a cannon right here to take out uh, this sea fort. And the Ottomans only have a couple of uh, units over here, just a couple of forts and stuff. So yeah, even if by some miracle they managed to uh, defeat us over here, they could not win. Like, it's literally impossible for them at this point. Let's see. And finally... We have taken down this guard's cavalry. Oh my god, that took so long. But we have finally done it, and we can move on. I think that that's where most of my money was going to, really. Most of my units. So finally we can focus our attention on the units that actually matter. The ones that are trying to take Vienna. It looks like mostly cavalry oh yeah we sorry about that guys I got a notification but like I was saying yeah we have really broken through this line like there is no resistance anymore so that is quite possibly the biggest accomplishment of this episode and as rightfully earned a place in the title of this video. Congrats. Oh, and Dresden is actually gaining its morale back. Uh, that could be a big problem for us because we don't have any good units over by Dresden. But, oh, I don't think that's that big of a deal. You know, the Prussians mostly have it. Yeah, and the Prussians did actually, oh, oh, oh. I'm going to go ahead and uh, save real quick. And uh, let's see if I can take this Prussian city right here without them getting too mad. Yes! So we have taken another city. That will give me a lot more gold. 
And I think that is a great place to end this episode. Actually, nope, 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 nope. It's not a good place to end this episode. I want to take out the Ottomans. Come on. Actually, no, I'm not going to take out the Ottomans this episode, but I really want to break them down, is what I'm trying to say. So, I'm just going to fire that cannon once on this C4, and then I will accomplish all that I want for this episode. Here we are. There we go, and I'm just going to leave it right there. At the beginning of the next episode, episode will uh, continue this turn but that is a great place to end this episode um <clears throat> we have broken through the rhine resistance which i am very happy about now we can finally begin our assault on the italians the rhine and the french uh, but we do need to build up our units uh, that's one thing that we need to work towards but yeah if you guys like this video then uh, please of course leave it a like it would help me out a lot and, yeah, I will see all of you next time. Oh, by the way, uh, don't forget the video that I'm posting tomorrow. It's going to happen. It's going to be great. Goodbye.